Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Rossi. Today we're going to use shapes, line, and texture to make a castle. What you will be needing is a white piece of paper from your art folder that has a label on it that says castle. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser. We're going to need a marker to trace our drawing with. I'm going to use a Sharpie, but you can use any kind of marker or dark colored pencil. And I'm going to color my picture with crayons, but you can use whatever art supply you have at home to color. For the first half of our project, we're only going to need our pencil and an eraser. Artists use the elements and principles of art to create their artwork. So today with our project, we're going to use those same elements and principles of art to create a drawing of a castle. Now the elements and principles of art include things like line, shape, color, texture, space, form, all different kinds of things that we always use whenever we make any kind of art. Now what we're going to be focusing on to make our castle is shape. So we're going to layer and overlap shapes, meaning we're going to draw shapes on top of each other and we are going to draw smaller shapes inside of bigger shapes to create a complex design or a detailed and more realistic looking picture of a castle. Now, when you picture a castle in your head, you're probably thinking of something with big tall towers and doors, maybe even a river or moat surrounding it. Maybe there are knights that are on horses standing guard or a princess or prince up in a tower. So we're going to add all those different kinds of details and bring our imagination to life on our paper by thinking about what shapes make up those specific items or aspects of the image. I'm going to start by drawing my castle. I'm going to draw my castle more in the center of my paper so that I have space below it to add anything in front of my castle and I have space behind it to add anything in the sky. Now your castle does not have to look like mine. Mine is just an example of how we can draw a castle. Now you can use the same kinds of shapes and lines and create your own original castle and that is okay. I even have some images on my canvas page of different kinds of castles you can draw and different kinds of details you can add to a castle. All right, so I'm going to start my castle right in the center of my paper and I'm going to start it by just drawing a rectangle lightly with my pencil. I'm going to make kind of like a long castle, so that's why I'm holding my paper horizontally, meaning it's longest going from left to right. If you want a big tall castle, you can turn your paper so your paper is standing vertically, tallest going up and down, and start your castle in the middle going that way. But I think I'm going to make mine kind of big and long today but it's totally up to you. So this is going to be that main center part of my castle and it is just a rectangle. Now I'm only going to focus on the shapes first and then I'm going to go in and add details to make it look more like a castle at the end. Now I think I'm going to draw a bigger rectangle up on the side and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now your castle can be the same on both sides or it can be different on both sides, it's up to you. And I think I'm going to put another skinnier and taller rectangle on this side. And I'm going to put another rectangle that is kind of small in the middle. I'm even going to stack a smaller rectangle on top of that one. And then another tall and skinny rectangle right off to this side. So now you can see my castle is only made up of rectangles and it doesn't really look like a castle yet, but once I start adding more shapes and details, it will transform into a castle. So now that I have the basic outline of my castle drawn, I'm going to add some more shapes and lines on top of the shapes that I've already added on my paper. So I think I want this part to be a big, pointy tower, so I'm going to draw a big triangle up at the top, and I think I'm going to do the same on this one. I'm not going to go off the edge of the page, so I'm just going to bring it down a little lower on my rectangle and then erase that line in there. Now on the top of these, I'm going to add a line that goes across. It's like the top of a castle where it goes up and across and down 
and over and up and across and down. And I think I'm even going to take this into where my other tower is, make this a little bigger. And we're drawing lightly so we can erase as we're adding more details and creating our castle. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now in the center, I'm going to take this piece out and do that same shape all the way across. And I am going to have another part coming out from the top. So I'm going to make another rectangle. This one almost looks like a square because it looks like it's almost equal on all sides. And then put another big triangle. I'm going to add a big half circle right in the center of that big piece, kind of as like one of those big doors that opens out. And I'm going to make some more sections on my castle. So right here, I'm going to do that same castle-y line all the way across the middle. So it looks like my tower has multiple levels to it. So maybe it's like two floors tall instead of just being one big section. I'm going to do that same thing on the other side. Now my castle is starting to look more like a castle. I think I'm going to start to add some windows. So I'm going to do some half oval windows. So I'm starting with a straight line and then I'm just going up and curving back down. Up and curving back down. I think I'm going to place these in all different spots. I think I want some square windows. And I think I'm going to put another doorway right here. So I'm going to do another big arch, kind of like that one that we did in the center. And then I'll put a big rectangular window up at the top. And then on this side, I'm just going to do one big window, one more on each of these towers. And I can even add some smaller ones here just like that. And now my castle is really starting to come together. Now I can start to think about details I want to add to my castle to decorate it. So I'm going to add some more shapes. I think I'm going to put some circles at the top here where I can put them. And then I'm going to do some lines to make my castle just look a little bit more fancy. some window frames and some little details, I'm going to start to add some really tiny shapes to show the texture. So I want my castle to kind of be like made out of brick. So in certain spots, I'm going to add some little squares and some little lines that are going to make it look like it has a brick pattern. Maybe your castle has a specific kind of design on the outside. So maybe you want to make a pattern using different kinds of lines or shapes and decorate your castle that way. You can do that. It is totally up to you how yours is going to look. Maybe your castle is falling down and you want to add some cracks in the walls or something like that. You can do that also. And that is my castle all finished. So I'm going to leave mine the way that it is for right now. And now I'm going to take some time and decorate around the outside of my castle. So maybe you want to add animals or people interacting with your castle, people who live there, people who are around your castle, or maybe you want to show something else that's happening in your picture. So my castle is going to be sitting on a big hill. So I'm going to draw a curve connecting the edges of my castle to the sides of my paper. I want to do that so my castle isn't just floating in space. And I'm going to create some water surrounding my castle. So I'm going to do a wavy line down towards the bottom, curving all the way around. And I'm going to add some extra wavy lines in there 
to show the waves of the water. I'm going to add some circles and ovals on the edge to show the rocky edge of my river. And I'm just going to do that in certain spots around my wavy line. Maybe your castle is in the forest. Maybe it's on an island. It is up to you. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a path from the door of my castle coming down towards the river. And I think I wanna add like a rock wall surrounding the outside. So I'm going to do a wiggly line that makes kind of like a wiggly rectangle going towards the edge of my page on both sides of that path that I just drew. And then I'm just going to add some lumpy looking circles in there to look like rocks. Maybe your castle has big gates out front or it has knights and horses standing guard. Or maybe your castle has unicorns and other kinds of animals around it. You can do that too. We just wanna add a lot of details to our castle using shape and around our castle, again using shape, to create an interesting looking picture. Your castle can almost tell a story with what it looks like and what is going on around it. And I'm going to do some big poles to mark the edge of my rock wall here. And I'll make them pointy on the top. Maybe you live at your castle, so you wanna draw yourself somewhere around it. Maybe someone's sticking out the window and waving. It's totally up to you. I'm going to add a flag at the top. And I think that's going to be it for my castle and what is below it. I'm going to add some things in the sky. So I'm going to add a sun and some big fluffy clouds. Now, since these clouds are behind my castle, I am making sure that my shape for my cloud stops when it touches the edge of my castle and then continues on from the other side. And that is going to be my castle picture all finished. Once you finish drawing your castle with your pencil, you're going to stop and we're going to finish our castle next week. You do not have to submit a picture of your assignment because we are going to continue working on it next time. So take your paper and you can put it back in your art folder. I'll see you next week. Try your best, have fun, and get creative. Bye!